What's up, y'all? We back with another special episode of the Risky Powerhouse. You know what I mean? Um, if y'all haven't followed the Instagram and the Twitter, y'all definitely should. We've been getting real active up there. That's been helping the channel grow. The spaces on Twitter been getting active. Midnight Spaces, Risky Takes. You know what I mean? The playoffs are jumping right now. We got Memphis and Minnesota on the screen. You know what I mean? What? It's four minutes left in the first. Minnesota actually looking pretty good. You know, they up nine. Um, good to see them boys competing. But yeah, man, we up to we surpassed fifteen hundred subscribers. So y'all keep sharing, keep liking, and commenting on the videos. Y'all really uh, helping the channel grow. As Anthony Edwards get a tough mid range, they go up eleven. But yeah, man, uh, got a special guest in the building, my boy Kyrie's Mullen. Holla at him, bro. Let him know what you represent, where you from, all that good stuff. What's good, Kyrie's Mullen? I'm from uh, North of Virginia, Berkeley to be exact. Uh, to be honest, yeah. You feel me? Berkeley, the South Side. You feel yeah, me? The South, South Side. Side. One time for him. Yeah, shout out to him, man. My dad from Berkeley. You feel me? So, uh, always got some uh, roots in the area, piece of the city. Uh, as y'all seen, a lot of my guests either have had connections to Shaw University or North of Virginia. So, you know, you got to activate your uh, network. So, so you know, let them know how you got in the ball, bro. When, you know, when, when, when was you first introduced to the uh, to the ball, my man? Uh, I was first introduced to it as a kid. It was, it was first grade. Uh, my uncle Barry, he actually played at Norfolk State University. Uh, he taught me how to play. Uh, and then he had a son named Barry Mullen Jr. So it just ran in the family. And then I just stuck to it, and it got me where I'm at now. You feel me? So yeah, man. Um, as you said, you know, it always started from a higher end, and you know, it, it trickled down. So. Um, getting into like activating your 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 network. How did how did you get into you know making your move to DC for your freshman year? When how was that feeling when you knew you had to leave North? Uh, it was actually a good feeling going somewhere else, knowing where I could start fresh and make a name for myself. Uh, it was a good opportunity playing with uh, Team Durant on the EYBL circuit. It was my first year playing against good talent all across the world. So. Uh, it was really tough. Yeah, so so making that team, bro, I know you was probably excited as a freshman. You yeah. know, the Durant team, the UIBL team, um, that, that usually uh, puts you in a position where, you know, you're competing against guys that's trending towards, you know, the ultimate goal. And, you know, yeah. if you progress three, four, five years, and when you see those guys from those teams, you know, start to flourish, um, you know, you you came up in that same class. You feel me? Yeah. So how, how – how did that mold the level of competitive competitiveness within? Like, how did you separate yourself from the others? What uh, in DC? I played in WCAC with the Damatha, the PVIs, the Holy, not the Holy Cross, the Gonzagas, all the big time schools. So going into there, I had, I had a mindset that I got to play tough and play hard because knowing that I'm not from here, I got to make a name for myself. So that's what I was trying to do: put my name out there. For sure. So, was you excited to come back to Lake Taylor? Yeah, it was kind of exciting coming back home. The hometown crew, hometown was rooting for me. Uh, we went and made it to the regional championship, won a regional championship. So, it was good coming back home, winning the championship with the hometown. For sure. So, who, who was on your Lake Taylor team? Did you play with uh, any of the guys that uh, came out recently? Uh, did you play with uh, Joe? Or did you play with... Uh, uh, who who else just came out recently? Dayron, Sharlton, or did you was you in contact was, with those guys? Uh, Darion, Sebron, Sebron, yeah, yeah. Darion actually went to Master None. I look at the Darion like a big brother because sure. he really setting the tone for everybody around the area right now. So Darion, he he went to Master None. I seen what he got out of it, so I felt like I should went there and got something out of it too, which I did. For sure, for sure. And he go to NC State right now. You know that's about ten minutes from where I am. And, and seeing him do growth, um, once you see, like, the city make a push for people, it's good to see. You know, it's sometimes it's sad to see that it takes success for people to uh, actually make that next push for you. Right. But when you see the whole city get behind people, you know, it's, it's definitely inspirational um, in terms of wanting to see the people do well and get to the next level or whatever particular entity they in. You know what I mean? And that's kind of how the powerhouse grew. Um, it grew primarily um, through... You know what I mean? Through the, the people that I knew coming up through elementary school, middle school, high school, my family, um, mm -hmm. just constantly getting into getting uh, my content out to the next level. You mm -hmm. feel me? And, and, and it kind of spider web, spider web, spider web kept growing. Yeah. And, and we only been doing this for four months. And, and, and we just now, we're in our rookie year. We looking mm -hmm. like K with it. We looking like K with it. It's a bright future. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, getting guys like yourself uh, to get their stories out. You feel me? These are the valuable stories that 
that most mainstreams don't don't catch. You know yeah, what I mean? Fact. You feel that's me? Fact. So so we need to really get these stories out. Like, how was Mass Nut and then where did you get the opportunity at Mass Nut and from? Like, how did uh, that come about? I got an opportunity. Uh, I played with Boo Williams at EYBL uh, down in the summer. And the head coach for Mass and Nothing was coaching with Boo Williams. So I got an opportunity to go to Mass and Nothing and do what I had to do. So the opportunity with Mass and Nothing, Mass and Nothing, it really wasn't, it really wasn't a big catch to it. It was just a military school. The military part was crazy, waking up early in the morning, doing the drill formations, lining up to walk the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So it was just different. It was different. So it, what they do is it's still discipline. You know what I mean? They set a schedule, set a standard, and, and most uh, you got to fall in line. You know what I mean? Yeah, master nothing. It makes you better as a basketball player and a player as a whole just sure. because it's the strict rules. Like, you can't leave campus or nothing. But with that being said, you could be in the gym 24-7, 24/7. getting shots up in the weight room, doing whatever you can. Focus on success. That's what it make you do. It, it, it cut out all of the extra stuff on the outside that can distract you, occupy time that don't matter. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And all your time goes into actually building towards tomorrow. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And that pay off. You know, now now you are working out on a higher level. Um, the season haven't started yet. You know, it's pre, you know, it's, we get about to get into the semester uh, come the yeah. summertime. And right now, this is the grind time. So, so yeah, how, sure. how the last couple months, how the last month been for you, you know? Um, as you know now, you're going to be at Hampton. Yeah. Uh, when I first committed to Hampton, it was love shown all around the city. Everybody. Everybody was happy for me. I'm over at Hamden now, working out. Uh, me and the guys, we just getting right for next season. We moving into a big conference, so we gotta play bigger, play stronger, and move quicker. The objective is to win, so we trying to go in there with a win mindset. We just trying to take over. Take over for sure. And, and, and how how did the Hamden opportunity come about? Like, what what made you choose Hamden out of the uh, the, the other offers uh, you had on the table? Hamden was actually my first offer. So I was rocking with them from the jump. He believed in me when nobody else did. Uh, when it was time to make my decision, Hampton was just on it. They was recruiting me. They were talking to me, coming out, flying out the games, reaching out heavy. All the coaches were setting me up. So I just felt like it was home. It was love. So I'm not about to go nowhere where I don't feel loved at. And, and that's usually, you know, it goes back to those connections, you know, building, you know, building those uh, personable uh, relationships that, that outlasts, you know, the moment, you yeah, feel me? Sure. And and that's kind of why I chose, you know, I try to avoid the Zoom route. Mm -hmm. You know, I can get on Zoom. We could arrange a little call, you know, you just sit in the yeah, room, kick yeah. it on the phone real quick. But it's more personable, you know what I mean, in this, fa in this fashion. You know what I mean? It's a more personable, it's more um, more quality um, content for the for the people that's watching. And for the people that's watching, y'all leave comments below. Let us know what you think. Uh, let us know, you know, how you feel about my man's going to help then. If y'all went in the state or whatever the case may be, you know what I mean? I know there's yeah. a lot of, I know you got a lot of that as of late, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody asks me why I ain't picking over state because I'm from Norfolk, but like. They just won going, too. That was an easy, that that, yeah. that seemed like an easy pick. Yeah. Uh, Hamlet, we're moving into the CAA. It's bigger and better conference. So I'm just trying to work. I'm just trying to go where it's work at. Yes, sir. Hi, hi, uh, de oh, definitely. The smoke. What job job right just say? No, we ain't running for no smoke. No smoke. We ain't dugging no smoke. We going up the chimney yeah. with it. We running up the chimney with it. Yeah, that was sure. job. But no, nah, that's that's the kind of mentality you gotta have. You know, definitely confidence. You know, bleeding out. Uh, senior year, seventeen and twelve. Yeah, seventeen and twelve. Mass nothing. Rebounding. Um, what what position did you uh start at primarily, and what positions? What other positions are you comfortable playing? Uh, I was playing the four and the five. I was playing whatever coach needed me to play to win the game. Whatever he needed me to do, whatever he needed me to play, win the game. Right now, I'm working on my body to become more of a three because I'm more of a four right now. My body changed over the year, but I'm still trying to push so I can become a three slash four instead of just a four. For sure, for sure. And, and how, what was your biggest like size? What was your biggest um, you know, position like in terms of how how big were you when you first started and like? in terms of how your body changed now in terms of like squaring up your shoulders yeah. getting more broad how is your body changing to to so fit I, that three what really happened was a lot of coaches weren't recruiting me because of my body i was around 280 something uh and i wanted to go to college for free that's all it was i got in the gym got in the lab put the work in 
I had to lose the weight to get where I'm at. So where you at now with it? I'm at 235. Two, 50 pounds? Yeah, that's crazy. Do you hear that? 50, that's a 50 drop <laughs> now. Now me, I never I never exceeded 190. Dang. My <laughs> whole life, like, bro, 6'7", 185. Six six one seventy nine. Those is my like measurements all my whole life. Like I just hit one ninety like in twenty twenty two, like literally, bro. Like oh, yeah, that's all right, yeah. But but bro, two eighty to two thirty five. That's impressive to get to that wing. You can run that wing at two thirty five. You feel me? Yeah. It's it's more your feet. That's that's the main thing you got to work on. You know what I mean? That lateral that, that lateral, lateral quickness. You feel right. me? That's that's the difference. Them dudes that can handle that rock. Right. You feel, instead of more so, you know, blocking shots. Uh, now you got to get in the lanes. The lanes mm-hmm. can definitely help that long arms. We both got pretty long arms, <laughs> yeah, you feel me? So you feel me? Yeah. You feel me? Those, those lanes, definitely sitting in that chair, bro. Defense. That's, defense. Gonna that, that's what I like. I like defense. I like, I, like, I like to be the dog on the team. Anybody want to smoke, that's the dude. I'm, I'm ready to bring the smoke. For sure. And, and that's, bro, every team need that Draymond, bro. Pass, rebound, says defend, bro. Yeah. Pass, rebound, defend. That's it. That's, That's all it. I'm I mean, to do. And buckets, the buckets going to come. The buckets going to come with the defense. <laughs> Bring the defense and the energy, the buckets are going to come. For sure. And that's and when you play basketball, like, you can feel the energy of, like, the ball move to the energy. Like, mm-hmm. like when you say, like, for the kids watching, you know, they might not understand what that saying means. Like, when, when you bring energy, that means you the player that blocked the shot. You run in the lane. Or make the hustle plays, diving on the ground for the ball, typing your teammate up, being a defensive player who bringing the energy. That's all you got to do is the little things that matter. Scoring don't always matter at the end of the day. You mentioned the plan. Like, like you don't got to necessarily give out the details of because I know you know how that go. But, like, what, what made you comfortable about the plan that the coach presented for you in your personal pro- player profile in terms of what they offer in terms of, you know, what, what it's the plan for you as a, for the coach coming in? Uh, the plan is just to be a dog for real, for real. He just, he just needed a dog, and I was a missing dog on the piece, piece of the team last year. So I felt like coming in this year, if I bring the dog mentality that he need and that he want, I'm going to get what I want out of it, which is playing time, touching the court, and winning. So I see, like, on your media and all that, like, a lot of people, you know, come around your media, especially with – um, you know, all of the big moves being made, the video, the highlight videos, all of that type of stuff. A lot of people like to see, you know, the progression of where, you know, all, right. all the work is going. So how how do you plan on, you know, individually like molding that following and and actually making yourself marketable outside of basketball? Uh, I'm going to work on that this summer. Uh, I'm going to make my name a brand. I'm going to brand my name. Just so when you say my name, it's just not an athlete. It's something more than just an athlete. I'm just more than an athlete. For sure. Yeah. And, and that's, the, that's and as y'all see with the Risky Powerhouse, you know, the LLC just got filed last week. You know, I posted that on the Instagram. Y'all, y'all got to lock in on the Instagram, the Facebook, and the Twitter. All the updates coming. But, you know, the LLC just got filed um, right now working on my certification uh, for life insurance. You know, I went, right. got my business degree already accounting minor so you know you got to build up you know credentials so that you can actually be a respectable entity mm-hmm. you feel me uh going to school at hampton is definitely a w you yeah, know what i mean definitely. in terms of the education that they can provide uh one of the uh more quality high quality educations on the east coast Fast. definitely and, and that's just not for hbcu that's for colleges period. period hampton offer one of the best education one of the best levels of education that you can get in terms of when you add the social experience for, from the uh, from the the faculty and staff that's uh, intertwined with the student population, right. as well as the level of knowledge that you attain while you're there, and I know that firsthand from from multiple friends. I'm from North of Virginia, so I know up to about thirty people that went to Hampton Virginia, Hampton University. You feel me in Hampton Virginia, and and they they you know took the next step. Right. You feel me? I know a shorty that was a lawyer. She's a lawyer now. Went to Hampton. That's went to crazy. Hampton. And a lot of people come out of Hampton, though. A lot of people come out of bro. Yeah, I'm a lot you, of people that when, came. And out when of you make it to the other side, bro, of any college for real, yeah, but, but especially just, a school like Hampton. Once you get through there, trailblazing, you know, and and you make that next step, you usually prepare. You feel me? So outside of being marketable, like, what 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 are you looking forward to now? Like we said, like you come, we enter in the summer. You know, it's the spring right now. We enter in the summer. 
Uh, what are you looking forward to in terms of what that first, you know, preseason time period is going to be? Preseason time, I'm just focusing on getting my body right, gaining muscle, turning my body into straight muscle. Uh, preseason, get shots up, work out with the team so we just become better. We got to big. We got to step up big time going into the CAA. So that's, that's pretty much it for real. Just get my body right, work hard. I, mean, I was in the band, but like it was a more of a cardio driven, you know, cardio driven uh, uh, sport, whatever. And when you think about the way, you know, we had to drive for long periods of time. You feel me? Like right. watching all that stuff. The HBCU style band is not. It's not the your typical you know, band that you see uh, on the movie, mm -hmm. you feel me? It's, it's more, it's, it's a lot more energy involved, a lot more explosion involved. And, and you know, I, I made it to the top of my ladder, man. I won first place at Nationals 2014. So yeah, I tough. might not have hooped out, but I did what I had to do in my in my regard. You feel me? Yeah. But it's more cardio driven. Like that weight, that weight on, how do you sustain gaining muscle and weight as well as, you know, improving like your cardio, you know, your feet, you saying you're trying to move from the four to the three, you know, how do you, what is the, what is the, the, the balance in that? Um, trainers, uh, nutrition, everybody just play a part. Uh, you got to sit down with your team. You got to come up with a team before you do anything. Everybody that's on the same plan with you. So if everybody on the same plan with you, y'all got one goal to achieve, y'all can achieve a goal. So you just got to put everybody on one team together trainers and your, your people, your teammates, anybody that's going to push you to get to the next step. That's what you got to do. For sure. So, so what, when you playing, when you, when you hooping, because I'm an NBA guy, yeah. that's my whole thing. Like, that's what the whole channel, you know, that's what, yeah. what we, we driven through. If you had to take three players in the NBA, they could be role players, they could be superstars. If you had to take three games that you see in the game and, and put them together and, and you say, this is how I play. Like what three players would you say? Whether they they could be past players that you you know you like when you was coming up, or they could be players that's hooping now. Hooping now. Uh, first, I would say Boogie Cousins, just off the demeanor and bully attitude. Uh, second, I say Jokic because I, I I can pass. I got a good I got a good eye. My third one, I don't know. I don't know about my third one. I don't watch NBA enough. I like college. And, and you told me that, like, that, that NCAA that NCAA game, to me, the reason I slowed down on the NCAA is just because of the turn, the turnover ratio. Like, the turnover is high. Like, is a player come in, and then they go straight in the league, or a player that don't go straight into the league from where he go, he transfers. Transfer out. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it's like, every year is a different team. Different team. So, it's kind of yeah. hard to, like, stay attached you feel me mm -hmm. so once you once you tap out for like two years you done like you got to really recalibrate you feel me yeah. so that's why I, I, I just never recalibrated like after I, I dropped out with like 2013 14 15 i was done watching college who's that's a good that's a good live right there yeah we watching uh minnesota versus memphis nine minutes left in the second 47 to 41 minnesota got the lead man yeah i thought man i thought memphis was going you know brain Bring a super supercharged effort. They got, they got they got to put giant Minnesota out there. Ja. That boy Jai, this I think this is his first game back in uh, like thirteen or fourteen games. So that's you know he might not have to win. Them other dudes got to get it done. Fat, that's fat. That's fat. He need that's, he yeah. need the squad. They've been winning games without him though, so that's fairly impressive. You feel me? The third player I might say is probably Draymond. It got to be Draymond. Draymond. It's Draymond. It's definitely sure. Draymond. For sure. And when you look at Draymond game, a lot of people really don't understand the value that, that he brings. Yeah. Like, you know, you know, if you if, if, when you look at Draymond and, and he getting what eight, eight and eight and two steals and two blocks. That's all you he need. He's a game changer. For sure, brother. The offensive rebounds, the defensive rebounds, the defensive rotations, you know, two steps ahead of the play. You yeah. know what I mean? Facilitating for teammates. Uh, just making the right play, you know, that's that's the main thing about Draymond. He's gonna make the right play, whether it's the pass, the shot, or the finish. And and that's that's what that's what you need. That's bro. what you need efficient, on the team. Efficient efficient passes, efficient you know, everything he do is gonna help the team. So he don't really he don't gotta shoot well to impact the game. Yeah. If he shoot well, y'all blowing people out. You right. feel me? Like his game just caters to everything. Like how do you allow Tyus Jones to get an offensive rebound? <clears throat> It's a two-point game. Come on, Minnesota. Yeah. 
thing with Dream Mind is the thing with Dream Mind, he bring the energy. He be chatting too, so he ain't scared talking. of nobody. He but, ain't scared of nobody. And, and not even that, like he talking to the team, like the team. Yeah. He like switch, switch, switch. Draw the corner, corner, corner. Hedge, hedge, hedge. It's coming right. It's coming right. You know, letting everybody know. You know where to be. He playing the quarterback in the, the basketball you, court. Telling you, he the safety and the quarterback. Yeah. Dude, wilding. Dude, be wilding. That, and that's one special thing about basketball. Like, it's a five man game. So even though you need your teammates, like each individual piece, piece can make their yeah. imprint. You know, you can be the shooter. He can be the boarder, the rebounder, setting screens. He can be the off the dribble guy that set set the floor up. You feel me? They and everybody the bring a certain piece to the team. And when you bring it together, you know what I mean? It it, it, all, it add up. But at one, like, it's different imprints that people can make. You feel me? Yeah. And, and you know, mentioning Draymond, Boogie, and Yoke, you know, that's that's passing. So, two out of the three, well, Yoke, even Boogie is a great passer, though, when you really look at it. His volume wasn't as high. That's a terrible pass, Carl Anthony Towns. What are you doing? Crazy. They throwing them lobs up. They just tied the game up. The house rocking. Tied ball again. The house rocking. With no job. No job, bro. No job. Defense. What'd you just say? Defense. Look, they get, easy. get the steal, push the ball, throw the lob. Transition. You just called it, bro. Defense, man, create points. Look, Desmond Bain was on that left side screaming for the ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he wanted that three. No, I throw that lob up. Get an easy bucket. That ball again. But, yeah, that's, that's, I, that's why I enjoy basketball, though. When I watch the game, you know, it's second level things that that you that you can judge from yeah. teammates. You can you can really like Taj Jones. You know, we just we just just watched him get an offensive rebound. Yeah, a steal yeah. and a lot and that's a lot. You know what I mean? That's those are momentum switch shifting plays. Like, and that's that's what I like to see, man. I like to see that energy, bro. But when you look at it now, the play in just ended. Charlotte got blown out. Nine yeah. Atlanta. You right. feel me? Uh, Minnesota beat the Clippers. They still that seven seed. Get the seven seed. Uh, Clippers went out there without Paul George, yeah. lost, the, lost in the war. I've seen it. Bro, I, I, I wasn't really a fan of the play in at first because they're trying to yeah, award they're trying losers. Award losers yeah. They're trying to award losers. And man, the top eight make it, bro. That's, if you make it, you make, make it. You, it. Don't, you, you don't. don't, you don't. Whoever get in going to get Molly Walk by that one seed <laughs> either way. You nah. feel me? KD and them will win it, though. They winning the chip? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Bro, I don't, think they, sure. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna get through that. Carry in his bag, bro. You seen him recently, bro? Dude been, dude been roasting really. Carry is in his bag, and both of them just so efficient. But they don't yeah. play defense though. Their team don't got a good defense. Bro. Got, yeah, that's their only problem. Defense. They got rebounding, but the coach. That, that's why they. Done. That's why they ain't win a lot of games because they can score, but they're not playing no D. And that's why I picked Milwaukee, bro. Them boys defending up there. They got yeah, Drew, they do. Chris Holiday. I mean, Chris Holiday. They got Drew, uh, Chris Middleton. And then you got Giannis. Giannis. Giannis got the best motor in the league. No, nobody yeah. in the league got a higher motor than yeah, Giannis. Yeah, he definitely got the highest motor. When you talk, when you talk, now you talking like the glue guy, the energy, Giannis yeah. is that dude. Yeah, it's definitely Giannis. Bro, Giannis. I think he's the number one player in the league. Nah. He's the number one player in the nah. league, bro. He's the best player in the league, bro. Nah. He the best player in the league, believe it or not. How? You really, it's, it's a long story, bro. <laughs> bro, if you go, if you trace the last five years, though, if you trace the last five years and you look at the progression of Giannis. What did he do better than Kevin Durant? Five years ago, let me explain. Five years ago, Kev, LeBron James was clearly the best player in the league still, right? Yeah. Kevin Durant and, and go to state, whatever. Boom. LeBron go to L.A. Giannis went back-to-back -back MVPs and a defensive player of the year, right? He right. losing the playoffs both of those years. The second year, KD get hurt. He missed a whole year after that. The yeah. year, the whole year he missed, Giannis was the best player in the league. He was. He was. You feel me? KD came back last year and played 42 games. Giannis played the whole year, was MVP runner-up, and was finals MVP. Those 42 games, I understand the skill set, but when you look at the level that Giannis get to, bro, he got the highest ceiling in the league, bro. He, what he do is, is literally unstoppable. Like, yeah, he is, he is unstoppable. Because cause what he depends on is automatic impact. Like we just said, Giannis is a guaranteed 56, 57% from the field. If his shot out here, he's still getting 13, 13. 14 rebounds. Fact. He's still getting 5, 6, 7 assists. Yeah. And he's he a better defender than everybody in the league. Yeah, he is a better defender. And, and that's why and that's why I look at, like, 
what he do for a five on five game, like Kevin Durant, this is how people stop Kevin Durant. They they don't stop him, they stop everybody else. Mm-hmm. And they force him into a one on one game. With Giannis, you gotta throw you gotta drop three people every he he demand a double team more often than anybody in the league. Yeah, he definitely do. And He's that's big. what that's what you want for your superstar though. You just gotta run down the court and dunk. <laughs> LeBron. Look Le- what was LeBron doing? LeBron had a way better jump jump shot, so I ain't holding him like that. Yeah, LeBron had a better jump shot, but but, but that's but what LeBron, just that's gotta the, run. That's the premises of LeBron's game. Get yeah. into that room get and, into that and a variety of ways. And it's not just him getting to the rim, it's how he do it. Yeah. Like bro got finishes on the left, finishes on the right, reverses. And then he'll and punch if you, it. And if you play one on one, yeah, he's gonna punch that thing. What? It's no one on one option, bro. Like we're watching Carl Anthony Towns right now. He he's supposed to be the best player on, on the Minnesota team. He haven't commanded a double team the whole second quarter. He's been in the game for like four or five minutes. He haven't got one double team. That's what you're supposed to do as the best player. That's the number one. The number one thing you're supposed to do is command a a double team. team. So you can make the dudes like Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly should not be creating off a pick and roll trying to dive down low and get a a a layup. Mm -hmm. That's not that's That's not conducive. That's not conducive for winning. You want Pat Beverly spying up. I want Pat Beverly playing defense. Spying up. Making plays for others. Look at that. Look at what D-Lo, look at that. Good D. Defending. Them boys. That's great defense. They caught a foul. Ooh, they caught a foul. That was a tough one. But, but yeah, like, you don't want your role players. If Coach say, Reese, we down three seniors tonight, Reese. I need you to start. I need 20 shots tonight. When you get that route, you got to go to work early. Right. First quarter, go to work early. As soon as you go to work early, they're gonna they're gonna make an adjustment. First time out, boom. Yeah. yeah, we gotta we gotta do this, do that, zone, whatever, boom, boom, boom. You get that rock, you say yo, you say boogie, you say Draymond, dice him up now. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. Dying. And then now you got the now you open the floor for the playmakers to be able to attack closeouts to set you up to eat more. More in fact. But Carl Anthony Towns, man, he's trying to shoot threes, bro. Yeah, he just be, he be, he man, be forcing. He be forcing. I need you to rebound, I need you to get blocks. I need you to dunk. Yeah. Put pressure on the rim, bro. And he don't do that. Yeah, man. I'm proud of you, bro. It's good to see you, man. It's good to see you taking the next step, bro. I appreciate you coming on the powerhouse, bro. Appreciate you. You know what I mean? Blessing, blessing the uh, the audience, not me with your presence, bro. Definitely uh appreciate you. As as the powerhouse grow, you feel me? We try to stay risky, man. Risky is the chance that every individual must take to get to the next echelon. And it's definitely gambles on yourself, you know, making the decisions you made, going to Master Tutton. You know, except to handle out of any of the other offices, decision you got to make that get you propel you to the next level. You feel me? And and you just know what I mean. Stay down. You know, make sure stay you down. stay level, uh, and and that'll that'll keep you pushing, bro. You know what I mean? Sure. Know what I mean, right now we ain't got nowhere with it. This this a new day. Yeah, you back at ground zero. Start. You know what I mean? Tear down everything in the back of your mind. Start fresh start, bro. Yeah. You feel me? And build it. Build. Kill. Yeah, for sure. Freshman, freshman at Hampton University. You know what I mean? Committed to Hampton University. My boy Kyrie's Mullen. I'm Kendall Bishop. It's the Risky Powerhouse. We about to tune into these playoffs, man. It's a one-point game. Y'all, y'all be safe out there. We out of here.